Hey guys, I'm John. Thanks for watching this video. And uh, I'm going to do a quick overview on the Old Town Topwater 10120. And also, I'm going to have a comparison versus the 106. Now, my main channel, Creek Fishing Adventures, uh, I got sent both of these kayaks for free, but I have no obligation to promote them or to tell you how good they are or anything like that. I'm going to give my honest opinion, what I think about both of them, what I like about them, what I don't like about them. And uh, if you're trying to make a decision, if you're trying to buy, like, decide with a 120, the 12 foot one, or the 106, the 10 and a half foot one, which one fits you, I think I got a good uh, understanding and be able to break it down for which one I think you should choose. Um, factor in a few things and uh, help you make a decision. First, let's just go over the kayak a little bit, just kind of showing the basics, and then we'll talk about the difference and like how much difference are there and what are the differences between the 12 foot one and the 10 and a half foot one, both pedal drive ones. So obviously they're both pedal drive, which means they have a pedal system that you ride it like a bicycle, bicycle which means um, it's got a propeller on there that drops down into the water very easy to operate. You can pop it down in the water, pick it back up out of the water if you're going through shallow or if you're about to unload your kayak at the ramp or whatever. Also has a rudder system, which is back here, and it folds down while you're in your kayak. You turn the handle, and it folds down to the water. This side right here has a steering option, so you can steer it with one hand. You can drop it down the water, drop it down in there, steer where you want to go, raise it back up out of the water if you are in some shallow. Really love the seats, very comfortable, um, nice material. I've had this 120 for a year and a half. I've probably done 20 kayak tournaments, taking it down multiple rivers, uh, very shallow. I've taken it in some very, very shallow water. When I do take it on a river in shallow water, I, I'll usually take out the pedal drive part and put in this plate that it's a block off plate. And the plate fits um, perfectly in the 120 and the 106. So these are about a hundred dollars I think they are and if you have one they, it fits either one so I've had this 106 for only about a month I've done a full eight hour tournament out of the lake I've taken it to several lakes I've taken it down several rivers with the uh, pedal drop system in some of the rivers and then I've had it in rivers where I used the blank off plate where we were going downstream in shallow water so I've used both of them a ton I'm six foot four about 230 pounds so pretty good size so I think I have a good um, experience and a good knowledge of kind of how they both work and to compare them and to decide uh, which one I would choose. If I could only choose one, which one am I taking? And uh, of course it's got to fit me and fit what I do. Real quick, let's go over the differences are. So this might help you make your decision. What are the differences in these two kayaks? So obviously this one's bigger. It's a foot and a half longer. Um, I still haul it in the back of my truck sticking out. Um, so I'll show that. and then. So the littler one's shorter, so if, you, if it's size that's a big problem, then this one here is going to be better. So the obvious factor is size, and that's a noticeable thing. Um, so you're going to have a little bit less smaller storage compartment in the front. You're going to have a little less storage back here. The middle drive part where you're sitting and uh, pedaling is the exact same far as I can tell. So I got the exact same amount of room. It doesn't cramp me, doesn't make me feel, I got long legs, and it doesn't make me feel bad riding in this one so i've already been in a tournament where i fished out of this all day and i kind of forgot i was even in a smaller kayak the notices i noticed was when i went to turn this thing turns a lot the smaller one turns a lot sharper than this one does this you know it's just shorter so it turns and sharper also it's a little bit slower so the difference between these two kayaks i'm going to just very easily, if you're if you're looking at you know which one it is, this one is 10% better than this one, or you could say this one's 10% less than this one. 10% in about everything that I can tell, you know, uh, speed, stability, of course size, just loading it, the weight of the the kayak. This one's about 10 pounds heavier than that one. This one's about 10% less stable. Now, is that a lot? I'm pretty tall, pretty big. And I've stood up in this kayak a bunch of times. I've frog fished out of it. I've sat in the hook. I'm turning around, grabbing lures. I've had no trouble. I've been, I've stood up in this going down rivers in flowing water in the smaller one. And I have no problem. When I get back into this one, I'm like, oh, it's a little bit more comfortable. I, I like it. But this one, this, the stability is not going to take away, is not going to be a factor why I wouldn't choose this kayak. The front end on this one's a little bit shorter, like, of course, like we said. So for the rod, for like, if you're laying your rods on the side, the 120 has a little bit better spot for your rods, so it might take up a little bit room if you want to have all your rods down. 
that's one thing I don't love about these kayaks. I wish there was more room for the for your rods to lay on the side. I wish it was a op more open area. The back part, I'll still put a milk crate in it for all my rods, and I still have a, another box in the back. If I was choosing this one for storage, then this has got more storage. Like if you're camping it, or you know, or you want to take a lot of gear with you when you're out fishing. The one difference in the drive system is this drive has a shorter shaft down here for the propeller. Uh, this one has a little bit longer. I think that probably factors into how fast it is. And one thing I've noticed when I've used this kayak is I used it in some real shallow water just recently and I, dr I drag a little bit more than my buddy that's the same size as me was in this one. So that's just the weight capacity. You know, it's a smaller, it's gonna sit a little bit lower. That may be why the drive's a little bit lower. But he, he was going over some rocks that I was just kind of barely hanging on. Um, not a big deal, but just I did notice that difference. So. You lose 50 pounds in weight capacity. I think it's 450 and 400, and maybe 500, 450. I, I'm not sure, but it's 50 pounds different. Not that big a deal that I feel like. If I have, cho have to, if I have to choose one of them for fishing a tournament on a lake, I'm gonna go with this one since I have both of them. If I have to choose one for going down a river or getting in a smaller area, I'm gonna choose that one since I, because I have that one. If I had to choose one and I had to get rid of the other one, I'm probably gonna go with the smaller one because it does everything I want it to do. I like to travel, I like to throw it in the back of my truck and go somewhere and just not have a big long kayak sticking out. It's easier to unload. I can still go anywhere I want to go. Now if I was fishing lakes a lot, if I went to bigger lakes and that was my main thing, I'm definitely going to go with this one. It cuts through the water a little better, you know, goes a little faster. But I love small water body stuff and I love the main thing I want to kayak for is because how, how easy it is to get it in and out of places. And a bigger kayak is not going to suit what I need for most of my stuff. If you want to do tournament fishing, you want to do river fishing, either one of these kayaks is going to be fine. You're going to be super comfortable, super happy on it, unless you're a big person. If you're over 200 pounds, you might want to go ahead and spend the extra $300, I think it is, and get this one. If you primarily fish lakes or you are already going to trailer your kayak, I would go ahead and buy the 120. Uh, anything if you want if you if you go on uh, long trips and you want you take uh, luggage or you go camping go ahead and take this one anything that you just feel like you need a little bit extra then choose this one if you're under 200 pounds especially if you're if you're a smaller person and maybe you weigh 150 and you're five eight this kayak is all you need if you're worried about lugging it around you want to throw it on top of your car I'm, I'm choosing this one or you have a smaller truck I'm choosing this one and you don't want to trail it uh, if you're worried about moving it like just the muscle and how much it weighs go with this one it's not a big difference but it's, 10 pounds lighter is, is nice um, it can still do everything you want it to do and you're still gonna be super stable on it you're not gonna tip over and I've, I've gone down rapids um, I've stood up in it paddling and got jol jolted to a stop by hitting a rock just the other day and I just kind of went like this, and I, w I wasn't going to fall out or anything. I was still stable. So if you're watching this video trying to make a decision on which one's for you, I would just go by your size or what you plan to do with it and like how much are you planning to be in it. As far as performance, they're really close. So if, if there's one thing that's like a deal breaker, you know, then, you know, that, that could throw it the other way. But if you're like, well, I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe you don't kayak as much or you just want to do a little bit of tournament fishing, you just want to go out and maybe you just want to go out in the lake a little bit, maybe you just do rivers, but you still want to pedal drive to go out in the lake every once in a while, you couldn't go wrong with either one. So I hope that I explained that well. I, I kind of want to do a video. I know there's lots of videos out there comparing them. This is my take on it, and I'm a bigger person, so like I said, I'm about 6'4 and 230 probably. You know, I'm not giant, but I'm not a tiny person where I like to have room, I like to stretch out, I have plenty of leg, leg room. I don't even have my seat all the way back. I got plenty of room for all my storage. I, I don't take t a ton of gear with me when I'm fishing, but I can have a milk crate, two or three boxes, you know, five or six fishing poles, a couple fishing poles up here. I hardly ever use the hatch part, so I don't store nothing in there. Um, it, it gets me where I want to go. I'm not going six miles, you know, out in the ocean or on a big lake, I'm usually going, I mean, I might travel a while, but I'm not going just one way where I need to pedal, pedal, pedal. I'm traveling around. Either one has, both have worked great. Like I said, this one's a little bit faster than that one, just kayaking side by side with people. And I, I just noticed from getting in it, 
like I said, my main thing was whatever whatever you're looking for, this one's 10% less than that one, and that's about it. Maybe 15% at the max, but just in all the things it compares, this is just a little bit less than this one. But either one are very, very stable, a lot more comfortable, especially if you're coming from a cheaper kayak and you're, you're wondering about spending you know, over $2,000 on a kayak. You're gonna be very happy with how comfortable it is, how it performs, what it does. If you're looking in to get like serious tournament fishing, the 120 is a great one. It can do a lot. Lots of guys do bass tournaments out of it. I've been doing it out of it for a year and a half and I've been so comfortable. Do I want to get a bigger one maybe in the future for more storage or something like that? Yes, but then I'm probably going to have to get a trailer to throw it in and out of. So I like being able to load them up back of my truck. I like how versatile they are. I can put a plate in there from going down a river. Uh, I can take what I need to take. I can stand up in it and be very comfortable either one. Both of them have been great for me. I want to add one thing. Uh, I get asked a lot about it. And as far as like, that's water in the bottom of it. So these don't have like plugs that you can plug off, like scupper holes that you can totally plug off and be totally waterless because the drive system has to move up and down. So if you are worried about getting your feet wet, like especially in the winter, I've been out in the winter a bunch in the, in, uh, especially the 120. I've only had this in a month and there will be water in the bottom of my cock, especially when I raise and close or if I hit a wave or I'm paddling sometimes, or get a little water in there. I'll just wear something that's waterproof. I uh, barely get any water in the 120. I get a little bit more water. Like I said, the stability, this one sits a little bit lower in the water because of my size. I'm not getting paid to say this or anything. I just want to give a great review and share from a person that's my size and, and I've got a lot of experience using them. So thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps you make a decision. If you got any questions, just leave them below in the comments section.